was quick. That was fast. What is going on guys? Welcome to FTV Family Time Vlogs. I realized I didn't post a vlog this week. We were busy meeting with family that we're not going to see for a while because we're going to Florida and doing things and getting ready for Florida mainly. But, so I wanted to do something and what not to do and to talk about Deadpool Wolverine, right? The movie of the summer. You think it's going to be good? Yeah. What What are you hoping? <sighs> For it to be good. <laughs> <laughs> Just really, do you want funny, comedy, action, Both. everything? I'm hoping there's a lot of action and it's gonna be funny. It's it's crazy because both of them retired, Deadpool and Wolverine. Well, I, I know at least Wolverine did, Hugh Jackman. And then Hugh Jackman said he saw Deadpool and he's like, no, we have to do a collab. So Ryan Reynolds actually wrote the script, put it all together, Funded the whole thing. Well, I don't know about the whole thing, but he funded a lot of it. Did the marketing campaign and everything. He's like, let's do it. If we're going to do it, we're going to do it right. And supposedly this is billed to be one of those type of movies. So we're excited to see it. We're here at... Lo it used to be a Lowe's, but it turned into an AMC. We don't come here often. It used to be a mega theater. I showed it before, back in the day they had like two concession stands and now it's just like dead. But today, look at the parking lot. That's strange to see all those cars here. Usually it's not packed at all. Kyle and Melanie had to meet us because they were running late. We were actually supposed to get something to eat before we went, but Melanie was running a little bit late and so now we're just gonna meet him at the theater and then go to dinner after. Mom is here with us. Say hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. She's, are you excited to see it too? Yeah. You like Deadpool, right? Did you like all the Deadpools? You didn't like the first one. I didn't. Here's a good story about the first one. So the first one was a little bit edgy when it came out and um, the boys were young. How old were you, Bray? Do you remember? Deadpool was released on February 12th, 2016. Yeah. I told him we'll meet him by the entrance. Eight years ago? Eight years. You're ten. 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 Huh. So yeah, mom is like, they're not allowed to go see the movie. We'll go, so I said, all right, well, let's go see it. If I don't think it's that bad, I'm taking them. I didn't think it was terrible, so I took them the next day after, and they loved it. So they've been in love with Deadpool since Deadpool 1. Without telling me. What? You didn't tell me. You took them when I was at work. I think I told you when we were there, right? Mm -hmm. Were you mad? You still don't think they should have saw it? No. Ten-year-old? We were raised kind of different. I grew up, my dad was taking me to like Jean-Claude Van Damme movies when I was like younger too. So I, I thought maybe it was just something mom didn't want to see with them because it was a little bit inappropriate. But whatever. So they've been fans of Deadpool since then. And um, yeah, I can't, this one should be good. I'll show you in the theater a little bit too. So you could tell how huge this theater used to be. This is just one corridor. There's two floors on this theater. Not getting any concessions. They do not have anything Wolverine Deadpool right now. They added these games. I showed you these before. We played on them once. Cool. So yeah, actually, if you see anything Deadpool Wolverine, popcorn buckets, or anything, buy it. They're selling for 10 times the price online right now. Like, the popcorn bu bucket is going for $250 for the popcorn bucket. Crazy. Now, in your button up world forever. Or maybe you're brave enough to go back. Huge theater screens and theaters here. And keep track of your valuables. Find the exit closest to you, and in case of emergency, watch your step as you walk out of the auditorium. After the movie, we thank you for throwing away your trash and helping keep our theaters clean. You ready to watch? We'd like to take a moment <laughs> to recognize our investor. Like I'm leaning, but I'm straight. All right, 
Wow, wow, wow. Fantastic movie. A solid 90 in my book. I will warn you, it's very raunchy in, uh, yeah. So, like, when we were talking about how I took the boys to see the first one, if this was the original, I would have never taken them at 10. I probably wouldn't even taken them until they were, like, older teens. Right? How can I see what you would have... I wouldn't have taken them to the first one. Oh, yeah. To this day? I mean, I feel like things have changed in the last, like, multiple years. But it was a great movie. What did you think? So good. What would you rate it? What you say is the best summer movie so far? The best we have Inside Out. Inside Out, Mad Max, Big Summer. It's better than those two, yeah. What about all the summer movies? Huge Summer, Bad Boys, come on. Oh. How are you forgetting the whole summer already? Oh, you're saying Bad Boys is better? No, they're both really good. Deadpool is the best? I'm gonna go ahead and say Deadpool is probably the best summer movie I've seen so far. Uh, it was right up there with Bad Boys. Bad Boys was fantastic as well to watch. The end credit is awesome in Deadpool. And I will tell you my favorite part of the movie because it doesn't really spoil anything. Um, it's when Deadpool... Deadpool and Wolverine show up on screen at one point and said, Is that Wolverine? Some kid says. And Deadpool goes, yeah, Fox killed him, but Disney brought him back. And now we're going to make him work till he's 90. That was epic. That was funny. It's not really a spoiler. Uh, Mom, she wore her Madonna shirt. Show your Madonna shirt. Why did you wear that? Yeah, so Mom wore the Madonna shirt because she has a song in it. Not like she doesn't have songs in other movies, but it's the first time ever that she allowed a movie to use her Like a Prayer song. And boy, did they do that song justice. They put it at the right time, edited it fantastically. It was good. You agree with that, Mom? Alright guys, so I just want to end the vlog out. We had a great time watching Deadpool. We really enjoyed it. Like I said, though, you kind of have to like have a little bit of a sense of humor for that kind of like edgy, raunchy kind of material. But we all loved it. Kyle loved it. Melanie loved it. Mom, they thought it was probably like the best summer movie there was so far. And I agree with them too. Uh, I think the only thing left to take them down is Borderlands. And I don't think Borderlands is going to be better by any means. Um, so it's between Bad Boys and Deadpool for movie of the summer and my mind, Braden's mind. What do you guys think? Also, why, before I really close the vlog out, I just want to say as well, they did a fantastic job picking the music out for the song. They had a lot of different music, a lot of different genres from all over the timeline, from back in the day to now, present to uh, early 2000s and every era. So I really appreciated that. They did a very fantastic job with this movie. We will be posting probably one more vlog, just getting ready to drive to Florida before we make that drive to Florida, and then we'll start putting the Florida content out. Uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I just want to put something out there. I hope you enjoyed the movie. If you didn't see it, I would definitely recommend it, but we'll see you on the next one. We'll see you soon. Peace.